The Insider Picks team writes about stuff we think you'll like. Business Insider may receive a commission from the Points Guy affiliate network. Chase offers two strong cash back cards, the Chase Freedom, and the Chase Freedom Unlimited, that offer great rewards that you can combine with the points you earn from other cards. Here are the differences between the two, and which one is the better option. Keep in mind that we're focusing on the rewards and perks that make these cards great options, not things like interest rates and late fees, which can far outweigh the value of any rewards. When you're working to earn credit card rewards, it's important to practice financial discipline, like paying your balances off in full each month, making payments on time, and not spending more than you can afford to pay back. Basically, treat your credit card like a debit card. What the Freedom Cards both offer the two cards are similarly named because they're similar cards. While their cash back earning is different, just about everything else is the same between the cards. The two Freedom Cards both have no annual fee, meaning they're automatically great values. Both cards are marketed as strictly cash back, but they actually earn Chase's in-house rewards currency, Ultimate Rewards Points, which you can redeem for cash 1 point equals 1 cent. If you have a premium card like the Sapphire Preferred or Sapphire Reserve, you can pool your points from the two cards, and get a bonus when purchasing travel, or transfer them to travel partners. Both cards offer a sign-up bonus of $150 or 15,000 Ultimate Rewards points after you spend $500 in the first three months. That's one of the best bonuses available for a card without an annual fee. Additionally, you can earn a $25 bonus or 2,500 points when you add an authorized user and they make a single purchase within the same time frame. One of the best features of the cards is a 0% introductory APR for 15 months on purchases and balance transfers. I took advantage of this myself when I started planning to propose to my, now, wife. I opened my freedom and used it to buy the engagement ring, so I was able to pay it off over 15 months without having to pay any extra in interest. After that 15 months, there's a normal 16.49% to 25.24% APR, although you should avoid carrying a balance unless it's a 0% APR. Chase Freedom The Chase Freedom has been around for a long time, and is an incredibly popular and successful card. I remember when I first started started learning about different credit cards and points, I'd noticed this card everywhere, and there's a good reason for that. In addition to 1% cash back across the board on purchases, the Freedom offers a few 5% cash back bonus categories that change each quarter. Since the cash back actually comes in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards points, which are worth a minimum of 1 per point when redeemed for cash, those categories actually earn 5x points per dollar spent, which you can pool with points you earn from other cards like the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The main advantage to doing that is that you can get a 25% bonus on your points when you use them to purchase travel through Chase, or you can transfer them to Chase's frequent flyer and hotel loyalty partners, or, you can just enjoy the cash back. Every three months, Chase announces new bonus categories for the card. While you have to sign into your account to activate the bonus, you can do that at any point during the quarter and it will apply retroactively. Sometimes there's just one major category per quarter, while other times there can be a few different ones. Past categories have include gas stations, local commuter transportation, department stores, grocery stores, drug stores, restaurants, movie theaters, and event Amazon. Q1 this year was one of the broadest ever, any payment made through a mobile wallet like Apple Pay, Chase Pay, or Android Pay. The 5% or 5x bonus applies to the first $1,500 of purchases in that category each quarter. After that, you'll earn the normal 1%. Chase Freedom Unlimited The Freedom Unlimited is one of the simplest, most straightforward cards you can get. The card earns 1.5% cash back, or 1.5x ultimate rewards points, on every dollar spent. That's it. 
no activating bonus categories, no remembering which stores to use it at, no worrying about whether you've hit the maximum in any category, just an easy, flat rate. If you're interested in earning Chase points, the Freedom Unlimited is simply a must-have. Combined with, for example, the Sapphire Reserve, you'll be earning a minimum of 1.5x points, and up to 3x with the Reserve. Which card is best for you? Ideally, both. If you have both cards, combined with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you'll earn 1.5-5x points on every single purchase, which is an unbeatable deal. If you'd rather have just one, then it depends on whether you think you'll spend more on general categories, or if you'll be able to maximize the 5% bonus categories. Personally, I don't necessarily get value from each quarter's bonus categories, so if I could only have one card, it would be the Freedom Unlimited. Either way, though, you can't go wrong, especially if you combine your Freedom Family card with the Sapphire Preferred or Reserve. Click here to learn more about the Chase Freedom cards from Insider Picks Partner The Points Guy. Click here to learn more about the Chase Freedom Unlimited card from Insider Picks Partner The Points Guy.